How's it going? It's your boy Carlos from Uno Cinco. Just got to the hall. I'm gonna show you where I like to set up my lights for events. So let me show you real quick. Normally when I get here, I ask where are they gonna be dancing towards. Um, this is the stage, because this is the DJ area. And I ask where are they gonna do the presentation, where she's gonna sit down. Basically it's usually in the middle, um, like right here. I think they're gonna be facing towards me, towards the back. Um, so I like to set up my lights to the, I, I set up four during the event. So everywhere they, their heads are turned, you'll see uh, there's light hitting their face. So I like to set up one over here and over here for backlighting. And then for sure, I always put two in the front facing them this way. So I put one over here and then oh, one over here. If I only use two lights and I always set up these two, and if I use um, just three lights, I set up these two always. Always like to have two in the front and then maybe one in the back. Um, usually the further I can go that way, uh, the, be the better. That way um, they don't come out in the, in the picture so much. But I think I'm gonna put it right on that, right next to that black line right here, that curtain, I think it's a curtain. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm gonna be putting my lights today. And um, I'll show you some pictures so you can see how they look. All right, so my lights are set up. I put one here, I put one there. There's one right there by the DJ, and one right here. So I'm gonna show you how they look when I take a picture of my sexy model right here. <laughs> uh, so, check this out. So I take a picture of him. So here, you're able to see that he has hair light in the back of him. He don't have hair, but he has hair light. <laughs> and then he's lit up pretty good um, from the front. So if we turn him a different way, mira pa acá. You should have one of the lights still hitting him. Pretty good, let me see. You see? So no matter where I turn him, he has a light hitting him. And he always has a hair light. So now I'm doing it from this angle. There goes our videographer right there. So you see, let me go a little bit this way. You see? So you're able to see that he's lit up pretty good here. Yeah. It's not out of focus, it just looks out of focus on this camera, but you see the good lighting. Anywhere where he looks, he's gonna get good lighting. Sometimes on the hair lights, uh, the ones in the back behind them, the back lights. Uh, I like to put gels on them, something that matches the dress. Today's color is green, so we look like like a. You can look at the color wheel. You see what color um, is a good contrast for the green. I don't, I don't remember if it's yellow or something like that. So just you can add like colors like color lights on the back ones and it looks cool. Usually, if I add them, I add them uh, during the dancing, but not during the uh, the actual presentation and all that. Um, Cause I don't want, like I said, I, I get different angles, and I don't want to get, um, I don't want to get like color lights on them during the presentation. So I use, if I do, I do put gels on them. I, I do it uh, for like the dancing, like uh, the party and stuff like that. La hora loca. So as you can see, I put a yellow gel on the left and a, like a red one on the right. To give it a little cool effect, you know, like so every shot has like a DJ lighting. So you don't have the plain white ones um, just flashing all the time. You give it a little effect. Um, try to match colors that fit the quinceanera dress and whatnot. But um, play with it. You know, don't be afraid to add some gels into your uh, pictures.